as you're watching him, and I, I know you're you're a Bucks guy, and uh, you spent time with the Cowboys, but you're a Bucks guy through and through. I'm sure. Uh, were you sympathizing with what he was going through? I mean, what what must that have felt like? I know you didn't even miss four in your whole career, different distance, but w- were you sympathizing with what Brett was going through in those moments? Oh, absolutely. I mean, as much as I want my Bucks to win, I felt awful for him. So awful for his family, anybody that's related to him, because you, you just, you, they're stuck powerless, you know, you were from the outside. And for him, uh, w- once he missed the second one, then it became mental because now he's, you know, he pushed two, then he pulled one. So it just got in his head. But uh, the, what I really loved is the support that he got from his teammates. You know, on the one, every old lineman, every guy, a field goal unit went up to him, even on the sidelines. So they know how important he was to the team and he, and he got him there. I mean, he kicked a 60 yarder, 90% field goal. So it's not like he was had an awful year. He just had a bad day. Anybody can have a bad day. And the thing is that I, I hate when people are keep saying an extra point. Yes, it is an extra point, but can you imagine in the NBA, you move the free throw line to the three point line and say, Oh, you just missed four, four free throws. You're really not, you're missing, right. a, you know, three pointers. So they're not that easy. It's not like it used to be. You say I only right. missed four. Yeah, but they were those were 20 yarders. You know, right. so now it's a little bit more difficult. So I, I think the Cowboys are going to keep it. I think Jerry Jones came out and said he's not looking for kickers. They know how valuable he is. And I think the support of his teammates is going to make him bounce back stronger. Though you're a guy who's made a lot of kicks. Like we said, you were one of the very best kickers uh, of your generation. What would you say to Brett Maher if you were going to talk to this guy and try and build him up and get him ready for a game on Sunday? Well, I would just say, do what you did throughout the year. Forget about this game. And you, uh, kickers, you have a short memory. You make a big kick or you may, or you miss four. You know, in this case, when I'm sure when he miss, made his 60, that 60 yard is not going to make you the next kick. So you use it for momentum. You use it for motivation. You may get on a roll and then you get in the zone, like like people say. But in this case, short memory, forget about it. You're good enough. You this, you got us here. And I like, the message I guarantee you from his teammates, the coaches, you got us here. You helped us get here. Some of your game winners got us here. So forget about it. Next game, we, we're going to need you. And that's what that Scott even said in the press conference. We're going to need him. So just the support of his teammates, you just got to be positive with him and, and know that you trust him. And, and if he feels the trust from his teammates, then he's going to be fine.